In the past, they were generally only used on homes with well water so bad that reverse osmosis was considered the only option. But now, with the concern of forever chemicals, chlorine, lead, PFOSs, even people on city water are now opting for the benefits of a whole home reverse osmosis system. The Defender Whole House Reverse Osmosis System is customizable, durable, and eco-friendly, and it's made in the USA. It really is the ultimate in whole house water treatment. In this video, we'll be covering an overview of the Defender's components, as well as what to consider before purchasing. The install you see here happens to be our most popular configuration, but again, this is customizable depending on your water treatment needs. Whether you're on city water or well water, we can create a system with pre-filtration, post-filtration, and storage and delivery needs. This configuration comes with a bodyguard chemical removal filter, a 2,000 gallon per day Defender RO, complete with bacteria killing ultraviolet disinfection system. It also has an anti-scalant system, and finally, a 250 gallon storage tank for your treated water. Again, the Defender Whole House RO is customizable. You can combine your RO system with a chemical removal filter or anti-scalant system, or both, or neither. You can also choose to make yours a 2,000 gallon per day system, or a 4, 6, or even 16,000 gallon per day one. The choice is up to you. So let's go over the components. First, we have the Bodyguard Chemical Pre-Filtration System. This is great if you are on city water. If you're on well water, the water conditions can be unpredictable, so it's best to start with a water test from a certified laboratory that can give us a sense of whether or not you need a prefiltration before your RO unit. But as far as city water goes, the bodyguard is a great first step for filtration. With city water, municipalities put disinfecting chemicals into the water like chlorine and chloramine. An RO alone will remove these chemicals, but removing them beforehand with the bodyguard filter is going to extend the life of your RO's membrane. We'll discuss the importance of membranes shortly. Within the bodyguard filter, we have granular activated carbon and catalytic carbon. On top, we have a backwashing control valve that can be monitored and programmed via your smartphone, so you can see important data like what your peak flow rate is on any given day and how much water you're using per week. It's quick and easy to set up and will dramatically extend the life expectancy of your RO system. Another popular add-on is an anti-scalant injection system like the one we see here. Whether you're on city water or well water, there's a good chance that you have high levels of calcium and magnesium in the water, which is what causes hard water. The calcium in hard water will over time build up and attach itself to the membranes on your RO system. This means that they will need to be changed more frequently. There are only two ways to get rid of hard water. That's either with a water softener or with an anti-scalant injection system. Both will work great, but for pre-treatment for an RO system, anti-scalant injection is a more economically friendly way to protect your RO from hard water scale buildup. So those are the two optional pre-treatment systems. Now let's go over the actual Defender RO system itself. The Defender itself is also customizable. This particular configuration happens to be a 2,000 gallon per day reverse osmosis system. The way we can denote that is by looking at the number of membranes mounted on the back of the system. Each membrane represents 2,000 gallons per day of daily RO water output potential. You can add up to three more membranes on the system to create 8,000 gallons a day of treated water. Essentially, the RO system is built to refill and replenish this atmospheric storage tank to supply your home or your business with potable water. Now, if you've watched for this long, then you are probably considering getting a whole house RO. Before you make a decision, let's establish some of the important requirements to determine whether or not this installation is feasible. The first thing to consider is, do you have enough space? Also, it's important to consider getting the machine into your home. Can it fit through all of the necessary doorways for installation? That's particularly important when considering what size atmospheric tank you choose. Another important requirement is power. These RO systems require 220 volts on a dedicated 20 amp circuit. In addition to that, we need a dedicated 15 amp 110 volt circuit to support the ultraviolet light and the anti-scalant injection. Here's another thought. Will the system have access to a drain? The RO system is going to need to create drain water in the process of making clean water. We also need to consider what type of water we have coming in. What's the water quality? Do we need a water test? Is it city water or well water? What's the water pressure? To support a system like this, we need an absolute minimum of 35 PSI feeding the system at the feed flow rate for the system size. We also need to consider flow. If you're on a well, do you have sufficient water volume to keep the system effectively running? The minimum flow requirements are going to vary based on the RO size. A 2, 4, 6, and 8,000 RO are going to all require different feed flow. 
To calculate this is really simple. What we're going to do is take our RO size, whether it's a 2,000 up to a 16,000, and dividing that by the number of minutes in a day, which is always going to be 1,440. So in the case of a 6,000 gallon per day system, we take 6,000 divided by 1440 to figure out our flow rate in gallons per minute. This is the amount of clean potable water that we're producing and filling our atmospheric tank with. Then with that number, we're adding our waste flow rate, which for your home will typically be three. So in this case, 4.16 plus three equals 7.16. That means our minimum feed flow rate to make this 6,000 gallon per day RO system run is 7.16 gallons per minute. This flow rate will have to be achieved at a minimum of 35 PSI. Okay, so now we've covered components and system requirements. Now let's look at the path that water travels through the RO system. In this configuration, water first travels down through the bodyguard filter, making contact with the carbon media, and then over into the inlet of the RO system. As water flows into the RO system, it then passes through a 5 micron sediment filter to capture and filter out any sediment, silt, and debris that may be in your plumbing system. After water travels through this pre-filter, it then travels by an injection point for our anti-scalant injection system. The injection pump will run and inject the anti-scalant solution anytime the RO system is running. Now the water makes its way into a stainless steel multi-stage centrifugal pump. As water travels through the pump, water pressure is boosted to the RO membranes. This is where the magic and science of reverse osmosis happens, where we achieve the 97 to 99 percent reduction of incoming total dissolved solids. After water passes through the membranes, the clean water will fill our atmospheric storage tank, ready to be delivered into your home's plumbing. The RO system is constantly working to fill this tank as needed. The mechanism that shuts the RO system off or turns it on is a float switch within the tank. When the tank is inverted, the system shuts off, signaling to the RO that our tank is full and we no longer need to make water. As the volume of water in the tank drops, the float falls and signals the RO system to turn on and begin replenishing the tank. When we turn on a faucet or take a shower, that water then exits the tank and is pushed through a centrifugal pump and then, as a final safeguard, passes through an ultraviolet disinfection chamber. This disinfects the water and neutralizes any bacteria that could have accumulated in your plumbing system or in your storage tank. From there, the water travels up and out into your home, clean and ready for use. Let's take a look at the instrumentation of the Defender RO system. First, we have inlet pressure, which tells us the pressure of water entering the system. Below that, we have system pressure, which tells us the pressure to which the centrifugal pump is boosting to. In front, we have three sight glasses to indicate our flow rate to the respective locations. Our product flow rate, which indicates the tank refill rate. Our waste flow rate, which determines the flow of water to the drain. And the recirculation flow rate, which tells us how much we're recirculating. We also have our UV controller, which tells us the life days remaining on our UV lamp before we need to change the bulb. Additionally, we have two control valves. The waste needle valve, which can regulate the flow of water to the drain and a recirculation needle valve, which can regulate the amount of water that is recirculated through the system. Also on board, we have our RO controller. Very simple operation. The digital readout will tell you the total dissolved solids of your RO water, pretty much telling you how well it's working. Ultimately, reverse osmosis removes the broadest spectrum of contaminants and is a great solution for homeowners with problematic water or home or business owners who are simply looking for the best water quality possible. The Defender reverse osmosis system was built with the end user in mind for ease of installation, serviceability, and reliability. This concludes our overview video on requirements and components. If you have any further questions about the system, give one of our water treatment experts a call at 800-608-8792. In the next video, we'll cover the installation process. Thanks for watching, and remember, great water starts here.